This is something you don't see very often. The snake's coming directly at us and it's been doing so for the last three or four minutes. Hey, hey, so I think I see our first snake of the day. I can't identify it quite yet, but it looks like a non-venomous snake. It's an eastern king. A young eastern king snake. Boy, look at that beauty. I don't know, he's maybe, uh, what is he, about 12, 14 inches long? Nah, maybe 16, 18 inches long. This is a good place for king snakes because there are a lot of other smaller snakes that live here as well as lizards and things like that. They do have a little bit of immunity to venomous snakes, uh, but they are pretty much opportunistic feeders and they will eat anything they come across that they can uh, overpower or constrict and, and eat. You know, when I first pulled up, I uh, saw this snake and when I got ready to get out of the car, I saw a large hawk flying away. So I am almost certain that hawk was scoping out this snake, thinking that it could uh, come down and, and grab it for a quick meal. But uh, fortunately, we're not going to let that happen now. We're going to make sure this snake gets into the woods before we uh, finish taking pictures of it. So as I set up the camera on my little tripod, the king snake started to move. And it began to come towards me. I moved my camera back, but it kept coming at me. I moved the camera again. And then again, but the snake advanced. I think it was actually chasing me. There is no mistaking this for defensive behavior or looking for a quick escape route. This little king snake was certainly advancing towards me and the camera. But snakes don't chase people. That's a made up story, according to the internet. This is something you don't see very often. The snake's coming directly at us and it's been doing so for the last three or four minutes. I did have a big fertile ant come at me and it followed me for a few meters in Costa Rica one time, but that's another story. As you can see, the snake followed me for several minutes. What on earth is this snake doing? Well, of course there has to be an explanation. Then I remember that two days earlier, this happened. Another corn snake. I met a corn snake and used the same camera setup to record it. It was a beautiful snake, but when I went to help it off the road, it musked and shat on me. That mess was all on my left hand. Here you can see that some of the musk got on the back of the corn snake. And away she goes. And away she goes.
Before I cut the camera, I turned back towards the car to grab my bottle of water. I didn't want to get anything on my water bottle, so I put the camera rig in my left hand and the mess got smeared all over the phone and the tripod. So while we have an illusion of a snake chasing after a human, what we really have is a hungry young king snake slowly and cautiously stalking a camera and a tripod that smells just like a tasty corn snake. So what happened to the little king snake? All right, we're gonna let this little snake go. Stay away from the roads, stay away from the hawks. Enjoy a copperhead sometime somewhere along the way. Very cool. So, while this snake did come after me, I'm pretty sure my explanation holds water. But what do you think? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please tap the subscribe and the like button and we'll see you soon. I thought I saw a cool bird. Turns out it's a rooster. Hey rooster, you're pretty. What's going on out here? You've been out here for a few days. All right, well have a good day, rooster.